Hey friends, we're going to be reading chapter four today of My Father's Dragon. My father finds the river. So there he is on the island, on Wild Island. So let's try to see what happens here. Let me get set up. Whoop, there we go. All right, chapter four. My father finds the river. The jungle began just beyond a narrow strip of the beach. Thick, dark, damp, scary jungle. My father hardly knew where to go, so he crawled under a wau bush to think and ate eight tangerines. The first thing to do, he decided, was to find the river because the dragon was tied somewhere along its bank. Then he thought, if the river flows into the ocean, I ought to be able to find it quite easily if I just walk along the beach far enough. So my father walked until the sun rose and he was quite far from the ocean rocks. It was dangerous to stay near them because they might be guarded. Oh, look at that little mousy. They might be guarded in the daytime. He found a tump of tall grass and sat down. Then he took off his rubber boots and ate three more tangerines. He could have eaten 12, but he hadn't seen any tangerines on this island, and he could not risk running out of something to eat. My father slept all that day and only woke up late in the afternoon when he heard a funny little voice saying, Queer, 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 what a little dear, little doc. I mean, dear, 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 what a queer little rock. My father saw a tiny paw rubbing itself on his knapsack. He, was, he lay very still, and the mouse, for it was a mouse, hurried away, muttering to itself, I must smell somebody. I mean, I must tell somebody. My father waited a few minutes. My father waited a few minutes and then started down the beach because it was almost dark now, and he was afraid the mouse really would tell somebody. He walked all night. And two scary things happened. First, he just had to sneeze. So he did. Hachoo! Somebody close by said, Is that you, monkey? My father said, Yes. And then the voice said, You must have something on your back, monkey. And my father said, Yes. Because he did. He had his knapsack on his back. What do you have on your back, monkey? Asked the voice. My father didn't know what to say because what would a monkey have on its back? And how would it sound telling somebody about it if it did have something? Just then another voice said, I bet you're taking your sick grandmother to the doctors. My father said, yes, and hurried on. Quite by accident, he found out later that he'd been talking to a pair of tortoises. The second thing that happened was that he nearly walked right between two wild boars, which are wild pigs, who were talking in low, solemn whispers. When he first saw the dark shapes, he thought they were boulders. Just in time, he heard one of them say, There are three signs of a recent invasion. First, there's the boars. And who do you think is this hiding in the bushes? That's Elmer Elevator. And there's the two boars who are talking to each other. It's quite a picture. Oh, and here's the tortoises. First, tangerine pills were found under the wau bush near the ocean rocks. Second, the mouse reported an extraordinary rock some distance from the ocean rocks, which further upon investigation simply wasn't there. However, more fresh tangerine pills were found in the same spot, which is the third sign of invasion. Since tangerines do not grow on our island, Somebody must have brought them across the ocean rocks from the other island, which may or may not have something to do with an appearance slash disappearance of an extraordinary rock reported by the mouse. After a long silence, the other boar said, You know, I was thinking we all take this talking too seriously. Those pills probably floated here all by themselves, and you know how unreliable my mice are. Besides, if it had been invasion, I would have seen it. Perhaps you're right, 
said the first boar. Shall we retire? Whereupon they both trundled back into the jungle. Well, that taught my father a lesson. And after all that, he saved all his tangerine peels. He walked all night towards the morning. Came all night and towards the morning, he found the river. Then his troubles really began. And we'll read chapter five next time. My father meets some tigers. So the question here is when? When did this story take place? Well, so the person, that, that's a really tough question, actually. So we can't put now because they're sailing in a ship and Elmer doesn't have a cell phone. So it's not taking place now. It sounds like this story took place a while ago. And the person who's telling the story keeps saying, my father, not I, or not me. So the person telling the story isn't experiencing this. His father did. And he's telling what happened to his father in the story, which means it didn't happen in the future. It isn't happening now, but it happened sometime in the past. So for your when question, I, I would just put in the past. And I would definitely accept that. So that's kind of a harder question to answer. But anyways, chapter five next time. See you guys later.